Hello, I'm Dr. E.T. and this is a tutorial of some of the new features inside Snowflake MultiTeach 5.4. With over a half billion views of educational content every day on YouTube, we've spent a lot of time focusing on really good YouTube integration because it's a powerful tool used by many educators. We provided a icon for accessing YouTube. This is just a YouTube web page, so it's just very easy for people to access. Or if you want to do a little bit more, say you want to build a collage of YouTube videos, we allow that in media. Here I have a number of YouTube videos. I can uh, bring them in really quickly and I can see different YouTube content. And when you're viewing YouTube content, keep in mind that this is the full version of YouTube. This is not a kind of a special viewer. So if I want, I can open So up in this video, we're going to find the... I can uh, mute the sound, I can increase the speed of the uh, the player, and I can also go full screen. So there's all the, the standard functionality that you're familiar with YouTube available directly in Snowflake MultiTeach. Just makes it really easy to get your content. If you want to watch the next video, it's very easy to have a list. You could have 10 different videos and you can cycle through them really, really easily. Search for new YouTube content, that's really easy. You just click on the YouTube, we have a YouTube search bar. And here I can search for a perimeter and I should be able to find videos directly related to that. I can click on two or three different videos, add them to my collage, uh, and you'll see that once I've gone into the view, uh, those are available as well. So just lots of different options, many different videos that I can have. Uh, of course, I can go full screen on these. And then I can watch, you know, several different videos. Use Snowflake Remote, and you can see I can start controlling the display immediately. Now, one of the big differences in this particular version is now I can add images directly from my camera or library. So I'll show you. I'll just add an image. So here is an image from my camera roll. Uh, let me just pick. Uh, let's pick this image, and you can see I don't even have an app loaded yet. But what will it will do it was it will upload the image it will launch the media application and immediately you see that application available or i can use my fingers to manipulate it on the mobile device so we'll choose that one which is a cody award video it'll compress the video and what you'll see is it'll load up the cody award video directly here and now if i want i can play that video directly on the uh, on the device as well, or I can manipulate it here, uh, turn off the sound, for example, uh, and then I can uh, hit play, and of course, this is the same kind of video like with YouTube, I can make it go full screen, uh, I can hit play, or I can go out of full screen, so there's lots of flexibility for manipulating. Multi-Teach also allows you to get access to content right from the home page, so here I have a home page. I'm just going to click on one of these lessons and you can see immediately I can access this particular lesson about uh, roles or jobs and where they take place. Uh, I can move the items into the different spots and you can see I can also click a button to see if I got it right or wrong. So here I'm clicking and I'm seeing if I got an answer right or wrong. Now you can also search on the bottom. So on the bottom I'm going to search for habitat and you'll see a number of interactive lessons right there on the main screen. Here I can just click on one of the activities. It says it's downloading, and after it's downloaded, it'll load the activity, just like loading it from the main home screen. This makes it really easy to interact with any particular lesson. So another cool new feature is the ability to synchronize your lessons online uh, with what you're doing on the lessons app. Here I, I have a couple related to volcanoes. Um, so it just makes it really easy uh, for me to create a list of lessons. Um, and if I click in the volcano, you can see I've got this list, and now I have the ability to play that list of lessons. So it, it's a type of storytelling. So here, if I play this lesson, once I'm finished this lesson, I can very easily click on the next button, and you'll see I'm led to the next lesson where I have a progress bar just on the bottom here. In this particular one, uh, I think you have to show all the answers first before you can move on to the next lesson. And then in this example, uh, it's the same kind of situation. I think you need to show the answers first. And then it allows you, it says you've completed all the lessons. So you see like, oh, you've successfully completed all the lessons in this list. 
So this list is just a few of the features available in Snowflake Multi-Teach 5.4. If you want to see the full details, it'll all be in the description below. Thank you guys very much for taking a look at the new features in Snowflake Multi-Teach 5.4.